good evening friends today i am just doing a post dinner video in order to invite you to the next three sequence of videos which is based on three mathematical letters written to my nephew who is the son of my own younger brother dr indronil datta who is a economist who is a, who is who is a uh, professor of economics at the university of manchester in uk and his son called arya uh, my beloved nephew whom i usually lovingly call arya singh whose mother also is an economist and uh, he seems to share two passions with me one is about mathematics and another, another is about railways of course i i cannot talk about railways in this channel this channel is about mathematics so during the covid period when exactly in the time of the lockdown i wrote three mathematical letters to him by hand in neat handwriting and then i scanned and sent it to him and they were all centered around the pythagoras theorem and its applications for example here you see i have written to my little nephew arya singh you see the date april 28 2020 iit kanpur so the first one deals with simple proof of pythagoras theorem the second one talks about thales theorem and how you can apply pythagoras theorem to you know get the two sides of the isosceles triangle to be equal and all these things and then the third one is a pretty interesting more number theoretic one which says that okay if i give you three integers a b and c such that a square plus b square is equal to c square just as 3 4 and 5 so from those a b and c can you construct more numbers another set of numbers say a dash b dash and c dash which are constructed using this a b and c so that a dash square plus b dash square is equal to c dash square and all these a dash b dash c dash are also integers positive integers so i decided of course with the permission of my younger brother that i would want to talk on them and the, the scan copies are there so i would like to read those letters because possibly there are many unknown nephews i have who possibly share the same passion in mathematics so kids who are in class 9th and 10th would actually can go through this video uh, i don't know in youtube they tell that okay this this video made for kids this time i have to write here they were made for kids and okay well, within certain age range uh what is interesting is that i also mention a few books uh, in, in the letters one of the books i mention is this wonderful book by eli mayer who is a professional mathematician and a historian of mathematics actually the pythagorean theorem of 4000 year history published by princeton university press by the way it is not a popular science book without any uh, equations of course pythagorean theorem a book on pythagoras theorem must be having figures but it is full of mathematics you see when calculus has come so it's full of mathematics it shows the various ways and when various areas of mathematics where pythagorean theorem has been used even it's used in special theory of relativity why an idea is powerful an idea is powerful simply why an idea is important because it is simply powerful powerful in the sense that it is applied across a huge spectrum and it makes a huge difference to our knowledge about the world so pythagoras theorem definitely ranks among the top of the list so i hope you would have three more exciting uh, you know times which i will start explaining may not be today maybe tomorrow and day after also i want to bring you to your knowledge a wonderful book which should be read by everybody who loves mathematics anybody who <coughs> is a student of mathematics doing a bachelor's in mathematics or even physics doesn't matter journey through genius by william dunham william dunham is a world expert on euler he is also a professional mathematician i have to just see where he uh, the name of the book is the journey through genius the great theorems of mathematics So he starts from the Thales theorem at the very beginning, goes into the 
Euclid's proof of the Pythagoras theorem. So how much, how many propositions Euclid had to derive to get into his book one proposition 47, the Pythagorean theorem. And of course you can see here the famous diagram which you also learn at school. I do not know whether you, they teach it now, I don't think so. But uh, now there is also about Euclid's proof of the infinitude of primes, the infinite primes. So Euclid was a very important genius. Archimedes' de determination of the circular area. It's a wonderful book. I think I mean, one can go on, I, mean, I have read it once, I, mean, I think I can again read it. it. It will enhance my own knowledge and enhance my own love for the subject. It, it, it's, a, it's, it's a masterpiece. This is one of the masterpieces of mathematical history that I'm holding in my hands. And then he goes to the Heron's for formula for the triangular area. And for a cyclic quadrilateral, that formula was extended for a cyclic quadrilateral. The Heron type formula was given by our very own Brahma Gupta, my favorite ancient Indian mathematician. Then comes the Cardano solution of the Q, uh, cubic. Uh, Cardano and, and and his rivalry with Tatragalia. It, it's, it's pretty interesting. Then comes a gem from Isaac Newton, which is uh, the binomial theorem. That is Newton's true gem. We, we can speak of all these things. You know, as I keep on looking into my bookshelf, I keep on seeing that there are a lot of things that I can talk. And of course, there is a fantastic chapter on Euler, as I told you, he is an expert on Euler, that extraordinary sums of Leonard Euler and the way Euler had proved things which would be absolutely wrong by today's standard, but his answer was correct. So then at the last two, he goes into that wonderful set theory, the wonderful idea of infinites that was that paradise which Cantor had created for us, from which Hilbert wanted, no one should throw us out. So with uh, this little discussion, let me end today's uh, program and hope that all of you would enjoy this and hope I am able to tell you uh, rather read my nephew's letters, three letters in three different parts. So tune in, subscribe. I'm also becoming a regular kind of a YouTuber, you see. Uh, so subscribe and tune in for the next set of three programs on this channel, which is for making youngsters fall in love with mathematics. Tune in for letters to my nephew. Thank you, good night. And just I end, would like to end with a limerick of the great Paul Erdas. There was a conjecture both deep and profound is whether a circle is round. In a paper of Erdas written in Khurdis, a counter example can be found. Thank you and bye-bye.